Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a galloping carousel, also known as a jumping carousel or merry-go-round. And this is where the ride vehicles actually go up and down as they travel in a circle. In a previous tutorial, I actually showed you how to make a much easier version of this ride, but the vehicles do not move up and down, it just simply goes in a circle. So you can check out the tutorial, it's linked in the video description. It's much simpler than this one, but today I'm going to show you how to make the vehicles move up and down. So I'm going to start with a wooden wild mouse coaster, or steel wild mouse, either works. We're going to make a simple little tiny circuit like this. With those sharp turns delete the first turn and we're going to do one straight piece of track and then a left turn and then i want to rebuild that uh track in so i need to turn on disable clearance checks build that back in and now i want to move forward here but we need to turn on some cheats first so on the cheats menu we need to turn on the show all operating modes unlock operating limits allow arbitrary ride type changes show vehicles from other track types and disable vehicle limits so with the cheats turned on, we are going to change the ride type to the suspended swinging coaster. And now I'm actually going to change the color schemes here just to make it easier to follow visually as we move forward uh, with the tutorial. Uh, so you don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but it's going to make it easier to see these things. So we want to start with the upward turn here, and then we're going to paint that yellow for now. And then a downward curve. And then we're going to move forward with an upward curve and then now a downward curve and now i'm actually going to uh, delete this piece right here and go forward with just a flat turn and i'm going to color that red just to differentiate it and now i'm going to move forward with a downward curve here and i'm going to color that blue and now we're going to do an upward curve and then a downward curve and then an upward curve and that's going to connect the blue track and we need to build back in the yellow track to finish off uh, the yellow track circuit and that should be nice and finished and now i'm going to use the arrows here the construction arrows and move forward so the yellow track stays on its circuit as i go forward let's try the blue moving forward we stay on the blue circuit and if i try the red station we move forward and we will end up on the yellow circuit and if we go backwards from the yellow circuit it takes us back onto the red into the station which I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to turn on the tile inspector and select this tile here. And you can see the bottom track is that hairpin turn, and as we select these two, you can see them. So the bottom track is invisible right now, it's that hairpin turn. We just want to raise it to the top level in the tile inspector order. And now I want to move to this tile here. And as you can see, the blue is on the bottom, then followed by yellow, and then the red track is at the top. We want to move the red track all the way down to the bottom level of the tile inspector. So now when you move forward from the red station, it enters the yellow track and then the red onto the blue. So that's what we want to have happen. Moving backwards, it stays on the blue track. Now if we go on the yellow track, we can go backwards and it will stay on the yellow track and not go back into the station. So that's perfect. So for the ride vehicles, we actually want to change it to the jet skis. So uh, if you don't have uh, the jet skis selected, if it's not in your scenario, you can always go into the object selection and just search for jet skis and make sure it's selected. You're also gonna need the horses, so make sure the horses, are uh, steeplechase horses are turned on. So now back into the ride editor here, we can change it to one train. So just one train, and we want it to have 17 cars per train. So set it to 17. And now for the ride mode, we're going to change it to the powered launch passing station. And let's set it to a launch speed of six miles per hour, and that should be good to go. So now we can test the ride, but whoops, we forgot to add the entrance and exit building, so we'll place those. And so now when we test the ride, the vehicle should spawn, but they are going to do this kind of jittery thing. They're gonna shake there. So let's uh, close the ride, respawn, and close it really quickly, and see they're not moving now. But if you accidentally miss it and they're kind of doing that jittery thing, just pause the game, respawn them, test it, close it, and then unpause it. And now you can see they're not moving, and that's what we want. So now we are going to open up the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. If you don't have this plugin, it's linked in the video description below. And we're gonna use the eyedropper thing here and pick one of the vehicles. And we're gonna change the visuals to the horses. And then we are going to go down and hit the apply button here to apply to all vehicles on this train. And now what we're gonna do actually is we're going to move to vehicle number 10 
and we're going to select track progress right here and then change this to following vehicles on this train and hit the synchronize button. So now what we're going to do is change the multiplier to 10 and actually I want to make some of the track invisible just so it's easier to see. So we're just going to make the spine invisible so only the rails have color. That's a little bit easier on the eyes. So now with the track progress, I'm going to move all of these vehicles forward. And so they're going to enter onto the yellow track and then the red piece. And now they're on the blue track. And let's move them all the way around to just about right here should be good. And now before we go any farther, I need to open the tile inspector because we want the next set of vehicles. Uh, so select this tile right here. And we want to make sure that uh, top piece of track, that red, which is actually the lowest level in the tile inspector, the main color scheme, uh, we want to raise that one all the way up to the top because we don't want the other vehicles to continue onto it onto the blue track. So now let's move down to vehicle number two, make sure synchronize is still turned on and following vehicles, all of that. And we're going to move the track progress forward. So now all of the vehicles behind it are are moving, but uh, these vehicles are going to go up the yellow and now down the yellow, so they are staying on the yellow track, while the other vehicles we had moved are staying on the blue track. That is exactly what we want to have happen. So now opening the tile inspector once more, we're just going to select this tile here and we want to make sure that straight piece of track here at the bottom, we need to raise that up to the highest level because we don't want our control vehicle to enter <laughs> these circuits. So raise it all the way up and then the bottom track should be that hairpin turn that's invisible. So now we can turn off the synchronize button and track progress button and we are going to have to manually move all of these vehicles. So if we move vehicle two backwards uh, to zero and then one more tick backwards on the track progress, we can see that there's 113, well 114 if you count the zero uh, ticks for each quarter turn. And we want to have four vehicles on each of these quarter turns. So just doing the math, 114 divided by four, uh, that's going to be about 28 or 29 ticks spaced uh, between each of these vehicles. So vehicle 2 is at 0. So now moving to vehicle 3, let's change the multiplier to 10. And we'll move vehicle 3 uh, all the way down to this spot right here. And we want to change the multiplier to 1. And we're going to set it to track progress 0. Now for vehicle 4, we're going to also move that one all the way to the next another quarter ahead of vehicle three so all the way to right here on the yellow curve and we'll set it at track progress zero and we're going to do the same thing with vehicle five we'll move it all the way to the zero position on uh, we can move it backwards here and we'll put it right there and just get it to the zero track progress now we're going to move forward to vehicle six and for this one, we're actually gonna move it. Uh, let's move it past our vehicle two. So here's vehicle two at the zero position. And we're gonna move it all the way to, I think the track progress number 57. And we're gonna do the same thing with vehicle seven, move it all the way to track progress 57. We can actually just do it right there on this curve. It's pretty close. And then number eight, let's go backwards and move it to the 57 position on this turn. And we'll do the same thing for vehicle nine. Now moving on to vehicle 10, this is the start of our blue track vehicles. So we want to move vehicle 10. We're gonna move it backwards right in front of our vehicle two. And we're gonna move it to track progress number 29. You'll notice in this video, I moved it to track progress 28. That was a mistake. You wanna have it at track progress 29. And we're gonna do the same thing for vehicles 11 vehicles 12 and vehicles 13 move it to track progress 29 and now moving on to vehicle 14 these ones we are going to move to track progress number 83 so i also made a mistake and moved it to the wrong track progress in this video so i think i put them at 87 but they need to be at 83 so just move them accordingly and once they're in place all the vehicles will look pretty good. Now I'm just going to make a correction, like I said, moving those to 29 and 83 because I made a mistake. So now they're in the right position and we can change the ride type to the mine ride. And now we can choose the number of circuits if we want because it's the mine ride. But testing the ride, you will see that they are going up and down and they're making a nice circuit as they should. And there they go. So that is what we want to see happen. All the ride vehicles staying on their respective tracks. So if I close the ride, I can now change the number of circuits to something really high, like 20, and that'll be a decent like one minute ride, something like that. We can make the track invisible and we're getting close to finishing this up. 
but we need to open the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin once more and select our vehicle number one. And we're actually going to change it to the Cheshire Cats or one of the car ride vehicles. And for the visuals, we want to change the variant actually to the invisible variant. And so you can't see our vehicle one now. And now changing the multiplier to 10, I'm going to use the acceleration here and go backwards to zero. And then one more tick past zero and it changes you to the maximum, which is 255. And then for max speed, I'm gonna up it to 30. So that's gonna give us about a 13 mile per hour speed. So now I'm actually going to test the ride again and you will see it is going to slowly ramp up in speed. So here it's at 11, 12 miles per hour and it's gonna slowly speed up. Now it's at 13. So kind of a nice ramp up uh, for the speed. One more thing, if we open the tile inspector, we need to move the entrance and exit buildings. So I'm gonna select the entrance building here, hit the copy button, delete it, move it one tile forward, paste it, and then move it below the track in the tile inspector order and hit make usable. And we'll do the same thing with the exit building. Copy it, delete it, move it one tile forward, hit paste, move it below the other track pieces and hit make usable. And now we just need to give us a little exit path and a queue line. Now one thing I like to do is I don't like the colorful cues, they don't look realistic. So if you open the cheats, you can actually turn on this cheat that is allow using regular paths as cue. So if you turn that on, you can actually now change the path to a normal looking path type for a nice cue. And I think that looks really nice. Now if we check on these stats, we'll see that it is very similar to a normal merry-go-round, really low stats, and that's even with the jet skis which provide a really high stat bonus. Uh, but if we look at the stats again, uh, the ride time is about a minute 20 seconds, so if you want to increase that uh, to a longer time, obviously you can just increase the number of circuits, so we could do 30 circuits and give it a longer ride time. But now let's just make the entrance and exit building invisible. And let's just add some scenery to finish this up. So I'm gonna do that really quickly here, just using normal scenery that comes from the game and these nice uh, little pillars that come from one of the expansion packs. And we'll add some curved roofs here. And this just pretty quick and easy kind of pavilion to put over this carousel. And there we go. And now for the ride vehicles, let's make them all white with a brown saddle and then do different colors per vehicle and just give them all different shades of brown. We'll do some black and some gray. And now you can see it with the peeps on the ride. And we have a nice colorful carousel, different shades of horses. And fun fact, because we use the jet ski vehicles, they actually allow for single riders. Even though they won't appear as single riders, it will show up uh, as two riders. That's explained in my single riders video you can check out after this, but it's a little neat bonus. And the stats are much better with 30, uh, 30 circuits, medium excitement, and a ride time of almost two minutes. Uh, so you can always play around with that. I think this is a lovely addition to any park. I know it's a little bit more complicated than my other merry-go-round tutorial, but I think it's worth it in the end. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member where you will receive early access to all my latest videos and other benefits. And check out my RCT2 swag shop linked in the video description. And as always, make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to show you how to build Superman Escape from Krypton and Lex Luthor's Drop of Doom. Both of these rides have multiple tracks, but each feature only one queue line. So stay tuned for more.